Today, we are going to discuss the last part of the effect of heat energy. Previously, we have learned when a small amount of heat is absorbed, it will cause expansion in volume. But today, we are going to discuss when a large amount of heat is absorbed, it can change the state. Take water as example. When a large amount of heat is given out, it can become solid state ice cubes. And when a large amount of heat is taken in, is absorbed, it can become water vapor in glacial state. And for all pure matter, pure substance, it will be fixed temperatures called melting point and boiling points. So melting point is a fixed temperature when the solid state change to liquid state. For water, we know that is zero degrees Celsius. It's a fixed temperature for, egg, for ice to melt. And similarly, boiling point is also a fixed temperature for water to become water vapor. And we know that is 100 degrees Celsius. So over here is called melting. Over here, we call that boiling. And that's why we call this temperature melting point. This temperature boiling point. Fixed temperature only happens for pure substance. So for example, if we have a plastic bowl and then we try to heat it up, we try to melt it, we observe it will become softener and then finally become liquid state and through all the process, the temperature keeps going up. But for pure substance, for example, an ice cube, we observe it start melting and then finally become liquid. It all happens at zero degrees Celsius. That's the difference. Only pure substance will have fixed melting point and boiling point.